the beginning of the 21st century, the Umbrella Corporation had become the largest commercial entity in the United States. Nine out of every ten homes contain its products. Its political and financial influence is felt everywhere. In public, it is the world's leading supplier of computer technology, medical products, and health care. Unknown even to its own employees, its massive profits are generated by military technology, genetic experimentation, and viral weaponry. Zombies. The moment that word is mentioned in anything, the quality of everything seems to drop like it's childish or demeans whatever it's attached to. Unless you're talking about The Walking Dead. But it's always been one of those things that is what it is. Going into something with zombies in it always has the mindset with it. Alright, let's leave our brains at the door. Mind the pun. Something people sometimes forget is that zombie flicks or games are supposed to be guilt-free fun. They were often put into the same category along with Nazis, demons, aliens, and stormtroopers. They are guilt-free violence you can enjoy without any repercussions. Among the menagerie of endless zombie movies out there is Resident Evil. Originally a hugely popular video game series, in the early 2000s the series made the push to live action. And compared to other video games that have attempted the push to the big screen, Resident Evil actually has been pretty successful at it with five movies out now, and another due out early next year. I had reviewed Resident Evil before, giving it a perfect score. Don't bother looking for it, the site's no longer up. And in hindsight, I may have been overpraising it. But looking at it as a whole, now, today, Resident Evil is still among one of the best zombie movies out there. Now, admittedly, that's not saying a whole lot. There are a lot more terrible zombie films out there than remotely decent ones. To many, the good ones can be counted on one hand. And I have heard a lot of people say that Resident Evil is a terrible movie. But I've also heard a lot of praise about it as well. For those of you who've never heard of Resident Evil, the film follows Alice, a woman suffering from amnesia, who wakes up in a mansion and finds that there is an ultra-secret underground facility beneath the mansion called The Hut. And that for some reason, everything went dark down there, and no one is picking up the phone. I won't get too much into the story or the history of the video game. Just know that zombies are evolved, and they aren't the only threat down there. Originally a video game series created in the mid-90s, Resident Evil has been a series that incorporates evil corporations, viral experimentation, evil scientists, and terrible one liners and for the most part, the live-action film keeps most of the soul of the series alive. I was beginning to worry. I say mostly because none of the characters from the game series show up here at all. While game fans will be upset by this, I didn't really mind all that much. Partially because this is supposed to be kind of a prequel to the game itself. I also didn't mind because since the film deals with new characters, I didn't find myself nitpicking on if they did a character right or not. Perhaps the best aspect of the film is how it incorporates the classic children's tale Alice in Wonderland into the plot. A girl named Alice goes underground. There is a correlation with one makes you struggle, one makes you weak, one makes you tired, one makes you forget throughout the plot. And there is even an entity called the Red Queen. Now don't take this quite the wrong way. This is not a psychological thriller that looks into the inner aspects of the human mind. It's a pure action movie with rock songs, Michelle Rodriguez, Kung Fu, and zombies. We're not kidding anyone here. If you aren't at all sold with those things, then this movie isn't for you. Acting, for the most part, is okay. It's not terrible, not in the least, but there isn't any mind-blowing performances either. However, I will say the beginning is really good, with many of the trapped characters delivering realistic performances. My only real complaint is this. The movie can be predictable. And a lot of the surprises don't really catch you off guard. But then again, since people tend to leave their brains at the door with zombie flicks, then I doubt anyone will really be upset by this. And finally, I have to say it, I absolutely love the ending. It is loaded with endless possibilities and left me with so many questions, but didn't leave me with unresolved issues the movie presented. Resident Evil is a fun movie. It is an action chick flick anyone can get behind. 
Grand, if you don't like zombie movies, then keep walking. This isn't going to change anything. But if you want to see a girl kick a zombie dog in the face in mid-air, you won't be disappointed.